Hi, I'm Simon Richardson from the Manx Radio Newsroom. It seems the Isle of Man is not alone in having to deal with the problems posed by operating a comprehensive healthcare system in a small island environment. Similar problems are shared by island nations worldwide. Now, though, a new initiative aimed at providing small islands with tailored solutions to help deal with the issues they face has been launched. The Global Centre of Excellence for Island Healthcare is operated by KPMG through its 70 member firms worldwide. It unites dedicated island-based professionals from the Crown Dependencies, Caribbean, Bermuda and the Mediterranean and focuses on identifying best practice. I caught up with Russell Kelly, Head of Advisory for KPMG Islands Group, and Dr Ed Fitzgerald, Head of Healthcare and Life Sciences for the KPMG Islands Group, who are attending an event in Miami. I started by asking Mr Kelly to explain the rationale behind the launch. Yes, I'll I'll briefly set that out then, hand over to Ed. Um, We we operate as a, a a single business across uh, a group of islands. So the Crown Dependencies, Bermuda, Cayman, BVI, Bahamas, and and down through the Caribbean. And all of those islands we see face similar but not identical healthcare challenges. And a few years ago, we invested in a team led by Ed, and that, that team's done quite a lot of work across those islands and brought to bear experiences of similar challenges uh, to, to the local governments and healthcare providers. Thanks Russell, yes, we, I guess one of my interesting reflections is healthcare is challenged wherever you are in the world, There's, it's, it's complex, it's difficult, it's sometimes messy and I think healthcare in island settings, in small island settings particularly, really brings a magnifying glass to that. So our team is really working to, to make that a specialism, to be able to Uh, work with professionals who are based living in islands across the region to bring that focus, to recognise some of those complexities, to adapt and adopt uh, unique solutions for island settings and to really try and facilitate a little bit more collaboration and partnership between islands, many of whom are facing similar challenges and looking for, for solutions to be able to deal with some of these challenges. And I think it's particularly important in an island setting because we really have to support island communities themselves um, because it because it's the right thing to do but also because there is a wider economic benefit to islands from a strong health care system and a, and a healthy population. Talking of the un- unique challenges and looking at particularly the Isle of Man's issues I mean the problems here are well documented of late another whopping multi-million pound overspend this year uh, also issues recruiting staff to name just two of the problems faced I mean, how could the kind of initiative that you have now launched maybe help an island like us? Well, well, I think it's fair to say, Simon, that those issues are faced in all of the territories that we're operating in. It is difficult to attract people into those islands in in some cases because of the the degree of specialism a a medical practitioner can can engage in in a small um, jurisdiction. And... I think it's fair to say that they all have uh, financial pressures, uh, and that is normally in the form of healthcare becoming sort of more expensive on a per capita basis, and also a greater share, therefore, of the, the budgets of all of these economies. Do you find a general a great interest among the islands, among the smaller islands, in in this initiative that you've launched? Are they keen to get involved? They they really are actually, and it's been really pleasing to see. I think islands do appreciate there is an opportunity in healthcare uh, to, to share learning more than is, is taking place currently. And I think from from financial perspective, it's, it's on the record, we've been helping support the financial recovery plan uh, in Jersey last year. And prior to that, we helped support uh, Bermuda Hospital Board's uh, financial recovery. And I think there are lessons learned from this that can be applied to other island healthcare systems, comparing an island healthcare system to, to the mainland, it's it's a different beast. Uh, and I think islands do recognise that that different situation sometimes means that the learning is more applicable and there's better comparators from other island jurisdictions. And what is the knowledge base that you will um, glean your information from? How, how has it been developed? 
so it's a, it's a good question because actually one of the shortages in many islands um, there isn't the same level necessarily of, of health data uh, provided in many jurisdictions. So whereas you might look um, at, uh, be that everything from OEC data down to um, local population health data in, in mainland settings, often in islands that isn't always there as much. And so we are having to do a lot of work, both um, helping support territories uh, and jurisdictions on understanding that as the baseline starting point. But once that's established, it's actually really uh, of huge interest to other islands to be able to see how comparators are made. For example, just having a conversation last week um, with the team in Bermuda about levels of diabetes, uh, which are roughly at least two times um, the prevalence you might find in the, in the Crown dependencies. And understanding some of those differences, it means you really think slightly differently, slightly more nuanced about allocation of funding, the resources that are needed. So actually getting to understand some of that context behind the numbers in the different island settings is really important. I assume as well that running a health service in a place like the Isle of Man, where it operates, if you like, a national health service uh, akin to that in the UK, is very different to islands that offer uh, private health systems through maybe insurance. That's right. And I think that is one of the really interesting things about islands. There are some very different models for running healthcare systems and some very different population health needs Um, and really being able to understand those in the local context is is key. Bermuda where I'm based is an entirely US insurance style health system for example with a minimum level of uh, provision for those unable to access health insurance but no universal health coverage, no national health service despite being uh, a British overseas territory. Compare that say to uh, Jersey and, and other crown dependencies where access to hospital care is covered, but you will pay to access primary health care. There, there are some really important differences in the way that different island uh, health models are set up. Now, you already have a track record. You've got a couple of successful projects under your belt already. But as with all things in life, I expect this kind of support will come at a cost. Are you confident that the advice and support you can give balanced against that cost of the services itself would will be cost effective for the islands concerned? Well, well certainly where we've done specific directed financial recovery type programs uh, to identify cost savings. You know, we do it on the basis that our our fees will be covered by the cost savings and some more, you know, quite substantially more. Uh, And we've certainly seen that borne out in, in other territories where we've done work. And I suppose the proof of the pudding is that you've already clearly established a successful track record ahead of the launch. Yes, yeah, that's something we've been been working up to. We've been building out the team. Um, we we bring people in uh, on the sort of western side of our business, if you like, from from Canada to to assist. And you know, when we're working in the Crown dependencies and to some extent in the west as well, we we do use some of our UK teams because having an understanding of that uh, NHS backbone and NHS system is quite important because. You know, as you look even across the Caribbean, uh, a number of those islands are are looking to ensure there is a base level of universal health care becoming available f- for their populations. And finally, I suppose, Russell, looking purely at the Isle of Man situation, which, of course, you're aware of, uh, is the is the Isle of Man government, is the health service here actually um, in dialogue with you about these kind of uh, th- this kind of help? Uh, we've certainly spoken to the Ottoman government about uh, healthcare and uh, healthcare transformation, and you know we have had teams working in uh, in some areas of sort of healthcare process and healthcare provision, although not overtly uh, involved in cost saving exercises. Thank you for making it to the end of the Manx Radio newscast. You are obviously someone with exquisite taste. May I politely suggest you might want to subscribe to this and a wide range of Manx Radio podcasts at your favourite podcast provider so our best bits will magically appear on your smartphone. Thank you. Thank you.